watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. And maybe you remember I uh, made a poll some months ago and I asked you what should I invest my YouTube ad earnings into and uh, many of you answered I should buy the M Audio Venom, which I did. And um, then there was also this thing. This is an Intel compute stick and I heard a lot of bad things about its uh, overall performance. And uh, yeah, I managed to find this one for around 40 euros on eBay. And um, yeah, it's got uh, two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of uh, storage space. We've got the H HDMI port here and two USB ports. Power in and audio in and out on this side of the stick. Yeah, and I'm going to run this through some scenarios uh, to see if it works for musicians. And the first one, of course, using a sequencer like Reaper with some VST instruments and effects on this. And I'm going to create a setup where this device boots to the desktop and um, launches a VST host and some VST synths and effects. So maybe we can use this as a battery powered device for making music on the go. So let's see how that works. I'm cautiously optimistic, but let's see. So here's what you'll need for this to work. The PC stick itself, a class 10 or faster SD card for your apps and recordings, a small USB hub for connecting your controllers and keyboards, a USB network adapter for downloading all those Windows updates and apps, a power bank if you're planning to use this as a mobile setup, and here are some MIDI devices like the Korg Nano Key and Nano Control. I'll also use Akai's EWI instrument later. Now let's connect all this stuff and then boot this machine up. This stick runs Windows Home Edition, so it will take you right to the desktop. The first thing you should do is to update the wireless network adapter's driver, which will otherwise disconnect all the time. After that, install all the Windows updates until your machine is up to date. Okay, so here's the first use case. I'll create a track in Reaper. I chose Reaper because it has a very low memory footprint, which is good considering we only have 2GB of RAM. I've installed ASIO for all, Valhalla Shimmer of Reverb, Synth 1, the audio modeling clarinet, which is a virtual acoustic instrument, and a drum machine named TR-910, which is an emulation of the Roland 909 drum machine. And as I have no HDMI capture card, the PC stick is also running a screen capture software along with this. Okay, I'll begin by recording a synth pad in Synth 1 and with some big reverb by the Valhalla Shimmer plugin. Oh, and by the way, I've set up my Zoom R24 as an audio interface for this video. Okay, next is the drum track using the TR-910 plugin.
with now I'll add a classic 80s electric piano sound using Dext, a VST recreation of the Yamaha DX7. And just in case, uh, let's add another instance of Valhalla Shimmer. And now let's record a physical modeling clarinet with a third instance of shimmer reverb. At this point I had to stop the screen recorder because it was interfering with that plugin. And here's the second use case. Booting up your favorite VST plugin standalone, this is really easy. Just install the VST host app I linked in this video's description. Hit the Windows key and R on the keyboard and type shell startup and press enter. Now link the VST host app in here as seen in the video. Then start that app and load your VST plugin and set it up. The app will remember your current setup and load it into memory the next time you start it. And the last thing I tried for this video was playing my EWI with a Bluetooth speaker connected to the PC stick. That kind of works, but latency makes this setup basically unplayable. So if you want to do this, you need to buy a cheap standard USB audio interface, so you can connect your speaker by wire. Yeah, and that's it for today. This turned out much better than I expected, and um, yeah, you can buy these ones cheap, and uh, maybe it's an option. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you found this interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I have lots and lots of other synth-related videos on there, so maybe have a look. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you next week. Bye-bye.